How's your pudding, Miss Babcock? It's delicious. Why? Just as I thought. These expiration dates are meaningless. <laughs> I'm a full-fledged moron by 12. Who are you talking about? Oh, that walker kid, the eighth dwarf, horny. I love Johnny Walker. I mean Jack Daniels. I mean Jack Walker. Ever since Rob Roy and Tom Collins left her, they've all been a blur. I think he is the most obnoxious, sexist brat. He thinks that he can come here and look me up and down and pinch me just because he makes millions. Well, he's got a good 10 years before he can get away with that. <laughs> Who cares? Your job is to make him happy. Not at the expense of my kids. And I'll tell you that Jack Walker is making everyone miserable. God bless Jack Walker. <laughs> this was the best day of my life. Good call, Nanny. Fine. <laughs> Fran, you should have seen it. People were hanging all over me. I have finally found my calling in life, sucking up to a famous guy. <laughs> oh, honey, you're underestimating yourself. You don't need Jack Walker to be popular. You got a trust fund that could choke a horse. <laughs> Do you think it would be OK if I grabbed a bite with Jack and some girls from school? Oh, your first dinner date. I remember when I was your age. No, I don't. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> you know, Albie Malcolm and I went out for burritos. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Brighton. Hi, Brighton. Hi, girls. I'm Fran, the nanny. <laughs> Cute bustier. <laughs> Won't you excuse us? No. <laughs> Fran. Just what did you think you were going to do with an 18-year-old girl? I was hoping to feel my way through the situation. <laughs> All right, I'll go to my room. Uh, Heidi, go to his room. Uh, Heidi, if you ever want to see the Alps again, hit the road. <laughs> you too, honey. You're lady who. <laughs> All right, we're going to have to lay down some ground rules here. Oh, yeah? Who says I got to listen to you? Listen, Mr. Pista, when you've got a house of your own, you can do whatever you want. But as long as you're under my roof, ma, stop throwing your voice. <laughs> you don't lay off me. I'm going to call my agent. I'm going to get you fired. Good. What do you think? I'm scared of a little bald man with a cigar? Oh, yeah. My agent happens to be 34, 6'2", with a mansion in Beverly Hills and a Porsche. Oh, wow. Go ahead and call him. Better yet, I'll call him. Give me his number. And a little privacy, because this is right up my alley. I'm not happy. You know, you think that you're such a big shot just because you're in show business. Why don't you act like a normal kid? You should be out riding your bicycle, torturing your sister, buying fake duty. <laughs> don't you even have any friends? Sure I do. My agent, my manager, my publicist. Yes, little buddy. <laughs> Right on time, here, just for being you. Love to love you, baby. <laughs> Name me one person that doesn't make a buck off of you, besides your parents. Well, actually, we're in litigation. <laughs> You're suing your own parents? How can you do that? They're ripping me off. No, I mean, how can you do that? Because my folks, ah, they don't have any money. 